Tupataha Reef's natural park sits in the middle of the Sulu Sea, a sanctuary far away from crowded cities. It lies at the heart of the Coral Triangle, the center of marine biodiversity in the region, seeding the seas around it with fish and other marine life. It is an underwater paradise. I've been diving for the past uh, 25 years. Uh, there are many places around the world, of course, but Tuvataha in the Philippines is the best, uh, if not in the whole of uh, Southeast Asia. It's my first time, many years of dreaming about it, and this year finally we made it. It's known to be one of the best reefs worldwide. All the, all the corals and everything is in really good shape. You can really tell that the place is protected. It should be an example in other places as well, actually. For the administrators of the park, it took a long journey to get where they are today. Tubataha is now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and as the largest marine park in the Philippines. It is considered both a national and world treasure for its extraordinary beauty, biology, and contribution to humanity. The beauty of it is actually secondary. It's, it's ecological value to the Philippines. It's a source of fish larvae and therefore supports food security in the country. And that is its real value. And because we protect it, the offshoot is it remains balanced and in a healthy state and then the beauty comes next. Without laws to protect it, Tupataha would continue to be threatened by destructive fishing practices, such as dynamite and cyanide fishing. Now, with its protected status, fishermen are aware that Tupataha is a no-take zone. Hindi kagaya noon na nagkapasok pa yung mangisda, kaya ginabongbong man yung dati. Kaya nangas, ubus yung mangisda. Pati kurals na nasira. Ngayon nga pinagbawal na, mas maganda na yung tabutahan ngayon. Wala naman nakabulabog sa ginatirahan nila. Tupataha's two atolls and extensive network of reefs are home to 360 species of coral. This represents 70% of all coral genera throughout the world. The bounty of Tubataha's treasures include at least 13 species of shark, 600 species of tropical fish, 12 species of whales and dolphins, an army of sea turtles, and 100 species of seabirds. Protecting this vast 97,000 hectare marine park with 10,000 hectares of coral reef is no easy feat. This is why support from various sectors is needed. One of Tupataha's long-term partners in conservation is the energy company Shell. Marine conservation is one of the core sustainable development programs of Shell Philippines' aspiration. Globally, Shell has made a commitment not to explore for oil and gas in UNESCO World Heritage Sites such as Tubataha. We needed support with enforcement. The area is very wide and we couldn't patrol the whole area without help. We also needed support to conduct research annually because we need to monitor the reefs to determine if management strategies are working or not. And we also needed help with information and education because the support of a wide constituency was necessary for voluntary compliance of regulations. In response to the marine park's needs, international experts from Shell, along with UNESCO, came together to help Tubataha create its business plan. From this, an annual grant was provided by Shell Philippines to support the plan, especially in areas such as regular biodiversity research and monitoring, logistical assistance to enhance patrolling, and capacity building of those protecting the park. Shell recognized that the best way to empower the guardians of Tubataha was not just by providing yearly funding, but by teaching them to stand on their own. There were many things that they couldn't do, researches and the like, and so the business plan had to be made so that they can figure out how to sustain their operations. We also do a lot of environmental information education campaigns because we know that whatever environmental degradation that's happening in the seas around Tubataha will virtually affect Tubataha. 
For the park rangers, work in Tubataha goes beyond just patrolling. It involves hands-on conservation. Most of them, as you know, are from the Armed Forces of the Philippines and from the Philippine Coast Guard, and they're not trained to conserve. We, we provide trainings, and every time I'm here, we sit there and talk about conservation and all that. In the seabird census, for example, we had some of them counting birds from the Philippine Marines, and he says, I never thought I was going to do something like this in my wildest dreams as a soldier. These guys are really dedicated. They're heroes. We sit in an air-conditioned office, but they're away from family and friends for two months. I'm very proud of this job. Because the work I was doing as a ranger for other people. But the work of conservation does not begin and end with those managing the park. For conservation efforts to be truly sustainable, Shell and the Tubataha Management Office reached out to engage the wider community through public awareness campaigns on the ecological significance of Tubataha. We are from the Tubataha Management Office. The youth ambassadors are engaged to do pre-departure briefings for all our guests leaving for Tubataha. They're the ones who talk to our guests, distribute the information materials, and also they're they're helping us with our public outreach activities. Like we go to coastal um, communities and schools where they do presentations, skits. The youth ambassadors are themselves reminders to their audiences that the protection of Tupataha is for the next generation of Filipinos. Engaging communities on the importance of Tubataha is one of the pillars of conservation because it is in raising awareness that we also raise the appreciation of the public on the importance of conservation and protection. Everyone has a stake in protecting and preserving this biodiversity treasure tucked away in the middle of nowhere, but with its bountiful benefits seen and felt everywhere. In the end, we preserve Tubataha not just for the hawksbill turtle or the manta and hammerhead shark. We preserve its beauty and bounty for our children so they may also have a place of dreams to pass on to those who come after them.